Have you ever scrolled through your social media feed and stumbled upon a photo that looked a little too good to be true? Well, chances are you've just witnessed the magic of AI-powered image editing. That's right, our robot overlords have been busy perfecting the art of digital manipulation and the results are so realistic, you'll have a hard time telling what's real and what's not. Sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed and slightly terrified by the power of artificial intelligence. It looks like we've reached that point where our eyes can't even be trusted anymore. Yup, you heard that right. Photos have been faked for so long that we've all become a bit desensitized to it. But now, with the power of artificial intelligence, even the most skilled experts are having a tough time figuring out what's real and what's not. This rapid surge in AI photo editing has got some people sweating. And by some people, we mean tech companies, researchers, photo agencies, and news organizations. They're all scrambling to keep up with the tech that's being used to trick us. It's like a high-speed chase, except instead of cars, it's nerds trying to outsmart each other with fancy algorithms. And if you thought fake photos were harmless, think again. These advancements are already being used to fuel disinformation and political propaganda. Authoritarian governments are even creating their own fake news broadcasters to push their agendas. And don't even get us started on those pesky images that tricked people into thinking the Pope was rocking a Balenciaga jacket and that the Pacific Northwest was hit by an earthquake. All fake, all thanks to Mid Journey, the popular image generator that's making everyone question their sanity. Experts are worried that this technology could speed up the decline of trust in the media, government, and society as a whole. And honestly, who can blame them? If any image can be made and manipulated to look real, how can we trust anything we see? And it's only going to get worse. The technology is getting better and cheaper, which means that soon, nothing on the internet will be trustworthy. This month, as Trump made his way to face some criminal charges, a little something popped up on Reddit. And by little something, we mean images of Bill Murray as the president in the White House. Yup, you heard that right. We've officially entered the era of fake news that's so realistic, even Bill Murray can be president. Before former President Trump turned himself in to face criminal charges in New York City, some hilarious images of his arrest made their way around the internet. The twist? They were created by a journalist from across the pond using a tool called Midjourney. Midjourney didn't take kindly to being used for some cheeky creations as he posted images of Donald Trump's arrest and subsequent escape, but Midjourney suspended his account. The thing is, these generative images are no match for people who are not as well known as Mr. Trump. Take the new British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, or the comedian Harry Hill, for example. Midjourney can't quite seem to get them right. But it's not just about that. These images can also be easily detected by news organizations and others who are savvy enough to recognize the risks they pose. Artificial intelligence is making us all look like professional artists. Yup, you heard that right. Anyone can create complex artworks that look like they belong in a fancy art gallery, like the Gagosian in New York. And if that's not impressive enough, this tech can even create images that are so realistic they make you question what's real and what's not. All you need is a text description and voila, you've got yourself a beautiful computer-generated masterpiece. No art degree required. In fact, Midjourney just released its latest version, and get this, it can even depict realistic hands. It's like the AI is giving Michelangelo a run for his money. Who needs to spend years perfecting their craft when a computer can do it in seconds? Believe it or not, Midjourney's images were even able to fool facial recognition programs used by Bellingcat, an investigative organization. If bad actors can use this technology to create convincing fake images, imagine the chaos they could cause. We're just one step closer to a world where nothing is real and nobody can be trusted. Sounds like fun. Despite the efforts of stock photo companies, government regulators, and even the music industry, AI image generators keep finding ways to mimic and adapt, making it difficult to protect content from unauthorized use. In fact, some of these machines have even reproduced images with distorted watermarks, much to the dismay of companies like Getty Images or Shutterstock. And Getty Images is not happy. They're accusing Stability AI of being a bunch of copycats and stealing over 12 million of their images, captions, and metadata. 
Getty's lawsuit claims that the stable diffusion tool diluted the value of their watermark, with images ranging from bizarre to grotesque. Stability AI didn't respond to the accusations, but artists everywhere are worried that AI companies are becoming a serious threat by copying content without permission. Even NBC's Peacock logo and Coca-Cola's iconic curvy logo with Loop the Loops are getting replicated by artificially generated images, with extra O's thrown in for good measure. And if you thought it was limited to photos only, think again. Generative AI is coming for videos. A video surfaced that had people scratching their heads. It showed Nina Sheik, an author and generative AI expert, discussing how the technology could create a world of fake shadows. But wait, there's more. Suddenly, her face glitched and a body double replaced her. But don't worry, it turns out the deep fake was created with Mrs. Schick's consent by the Dutch company Revel.ai and Chupik, a California company that's exploring digital content verification. They even stamped the video as computer-generated, making it the first digitally transparent deep fake. They sealed the data into the file using some cryptographic magic, so no one can tamper with it without breaking the digital signature and preventing the credentials from showing up. These companies are now even charging a fee for commercial clients who want to use their fancy badge to convince people that their AI images are legit, and they're not alone in their quest for authenticity. The Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity, a project with Adobe, Intel, and Microsoft, is working hard to trace the origins of digital media. Meanwhile, chipmaker NVIDIA is teaming up with Getty to train responsible AI models using licensed content, all while paying royalties to artists. To sum it up, the rise of AI in photo and video generation has created both exciting and concerning possibilities. On one hand, it allows for greater creativity and efficiency in content creation and can even help with tasks like image authentication. On the other hand, it poses a significant threat to artists and photographers whose work can be easily replicated and diluted in value. The issue of deepfakes also raises concerns about the spread of misinformation and the need for content authentication. It's clear that the development of legal protections and standards for AI-generated content is lagging behind its technological advancements. As consumers, we need to educate ourselves about the authenticity of the content we consume and demand transparency from companies that use AI in their products. We can also support initiatives like the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity and push for stronger regulation to protect the rights of artists and photographers. What are the implications of these AI-generated content? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe to continue seeing amazing content from our channel. Thank you for watching.